wanted to talk with you today really briefly about a question that one of my warriors asked, which is, should I take this supplement? Can I take it with that supplement? And is it appropriate to mix it with this mineral? And so if you're like my client and you're wondering about what supplements should be used together, which supplements shouldn't be used together, and what you should be taking to try to conquer your anxiety naturally, safely, effectively, then this is a great starting point video. So you're going to learn today the seven steps that a vitalist uses to decide if a supplement or an herb or any other treatment protocol is important. Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Kane. To learn more about what we're doing in order to help you be free from anxiety, check out our website, drnicolekane.com. Today, we're talking about how to know if a supplement is right for you in the treatment of anxiety. And we have seven guidelines that we use as ACT method warriors or vitalists. The first one is that we want to make sure that we always address acute concerns. So if somebody is coming in to see me and they're my patient and I'm working their case up and they have an acute issue, whether it's an acute um, abdominal pain or an acute allergic reaction or an acute panic attack, then we have to focus on that first. In another case, if somebody comes in and their main thing is anxiety, but their pulse is really uneven and their blood pressure is through the roof, we have to address that first. So the most important thing when we're starting is we have to figure out what's the main thing and clear that layer. And the things that we use are very dependent on what that kind of concern is. And oftentimes in this kind of example, we may have to go towards more pharmacological or surgical options. And then underneath of that, we can work on helping the body become stronger. The second thing is we want to remove obstacles to cure. So when I have somebody who's coming in as a consultee, we look at their lifestyle, we look at their entire world, we look at the cast of characters, and we start to figure out what ingredients are in this drama that are playing out that are causing you to feel anxious or causing you to have symptoms. Because if we don't deal with those first, you're going to continue to be anxious. If, for example, I have somebody who's coming in and they're in an abusive relationship and they're very anxious, I can give them all of the herbs, all of the pharmaceuticals in the world, but until that relationship is dealt with, they're not going to get better. It's an obstacle. The third is that we want to give the body what it needs. When we're using plants and herbs and bot flowers and remedies and different things like that, the objective should be to move the body towards greater health and wellness. And the metaphor I often use with my clients is we're starting at the bottom of the mountain and you feeling like yourself again, you feeling amazing is completely achievable by working with the body and giving your body the ingredients to do what it does best. And so I often talk to my clients about which way is your ball rolling? Is it moving up the hill? Have you hit a plateau and you're no longer improving? Or are you going down the hill? And so by giving the body things to help it heal, you can actually start to see that those things are working and you're getting results. So when you're thinking about supplements, when you're thinking about herbs, should I take this or should I take that? You should always ask yourself the question, is this moving me towards greater health or is it just something that I'm taking to suppress the symptoms so I don't feel them anymore? The biggest things that you can do to improve your health are to take nutrients that your body needs in order to function well, like your B vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, minerals, proteins, and fats. The most important thing that your body needs is to be able to move, exercise, detoxify. And so when we think about creating a protocol for somebody, we don't want to just put you on a handful of pills or a handful of supplements. That's the philosophy of a pill for an ill or a supplement for a symptom that we are totally changing the page on in the ACT method. So the next thing, so we've been talking about, and I actually have them all written out here for you, is we talked about addressing acute concerns, removing obstacles to cure, we talked about giving the body what it needs, and then this fourth one, it's tonify weak and damaged systems. So when we think about tonification, to add tone is to add strength. Think about your muscles. When your muscles are weak and you haven't been exercising, your muscles aren't toned, but when we add tone, there's strength to them. We want to add strength and tone to the different organ systems in your body. So, for example, if you've been under a lot of stress, chronic stress, long-term stress, you may benefit from tone in your nervous system or your hypothalamic pituitary adrenal access, right? 
And so, of course, a good doctor can help assess if that's the case for you. And this is where testing can come in to figure out what is the health of your thyroid, what is the health of your hormones, what is the health of your adrenals. Do you have any indications that you have nervous system stress? And how can we heal the nervous system using trophil restoratives? And so that's the next step. So if you take supplements, you want them to move your body up the hill towards health and wellness, and you want to help use tonification strategies to make your body stronger so it can do what you're asking it to do. The next one is add uh, structural integrity and then stimulate vitality. So when it comes to vitality, this is all about stimulating your body's natural ability to heal itself. And so I feel more able to deal with stress when I get enough sleep. And so sometimes the first thing we have to do is help you sleep, and then we can worry about the other pieces of the puzzle. And so start to think about what makes you feel vital, strong, and alive. Medicines that we use in, as vitalists would be botanical medicine. Herbs can work to increase vitality. We use homeopathics, hydrotherapy, acupuncture, and traditional Chinese medicine. Our strategies to do this, they're things that help the body feel more fully alive. Structural integrity. This is where we look at the brain and the central nervous system. So your brain lives inside of your skull, the bone structure of the skull. And then it, the brain stem goes down the spine and comes out in the tailbone. And so then you have your coccyx down at the other end. And then every single nerve that comes out feeds every single part of your body, right? So you have nerves that feed your heart. You have nerves that feed the fingertips so that you can feel things. You have nerves that help your digestion in your stomach. And so sometimes in anxiety, there's a displacement of the bones in the spine, which can cause a pinch on the nerve and can make us have heart palpitations. And then when we start and we have that, remember the eight types of anxiety, if we have chest anxiety because of heart palpitations, sometimes just having your back looked at to see if there's something going on in the spinal alignment can be really helpful. We also know that emotions can get triggered and stored into our muscles. And so then think about things like cranial sacral, yoga, stretching, exercise, physical manipulation and adjustments, and make sure that your brain and your spinal cord are really healthy, getting nourished and are in line. So the last two pieces on this puzzle here are addressing and suppressing the pathology. And this is where modern medicine really shines, is if somebody is inflamed, they'll give an anti-inflammatory. If someone's in pain, they'll give an anti-pain like aspirin or Tylenol relief, right? And so when we have suppression, like if you're having an anaphylactic response, you can suppress that with high-dose steroids. If you're having an autoimmune response, you can give immune suppressants. And we can use botanicals and we can use supplements to this similar philosophy. So for example, in standard Western medicine, if someone can't sleep, they'll give you a sedative. And sometimes herbalists will say, well, we have sedatives too. We can give you valerian and hops and lavender. And so the question shouldn't be, those should be our last resorts, is what supplements can I take to fix this? But rather, we should stay above the line and figure out, okay, how can I give my body what it needs? How can I increase health? How can I remove obstacles to cure? How can I increase resiliency? So when you're thinking about your supplement protocol, and you want to think like a vitalist and you want to move yourself up that mountain, try to stick within the philosophy of one through seven and then keep those last two at the very bottom. That's where Western medicine shines, but we shine at one through six. We can make a huge difference and you can get your life back and I'm here to teach you how. So check back often. We'll be posting more videos, tons of free content. If you haven't looked at our podcast, go and check that out. It's Dr. Nicole Kane, Get Your Life Back. I also have tons of stuff on Instagram, YouTube, my website. And also, if you haven't gotten into our Anxiety Freedom Warriors group, definitely get in there. We have a one-week challenge where you're going to get 14 tips that have tons of videos, a beautiful booklet, and it's amazing and people are getting great results. Also, great results come with the community and you don't have to do this alone and it's totally free. So we'll put the link in the comments and check back soon. I'm Dr. Nicole Kane. It's been so great to see you this morning. Take care.